हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज शैलेंद्र एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीआईएसएम प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग एज सुन एज यू हैव डिसाइडेड दैट यस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डू द सीआईएसएम सो व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग एज पर माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज पर माय स्ट्रेटजी आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू एंड आई एम श्योर इफ यू फॉलो दिस देयर आर बिग चांस यू कैन क्रैक द सीआईएसएम एग्जाम वेरी इजीली right so in this video i will be sharing certain things what are the assumptions i have made for creation of this video what are the strategy in terms of uh, reading the books in terms of uh, uh, doing the mock questions and in terms of when you will going to give the exam yes friend this video will also tell you the selection of exam date what are the things you should do and moreover most important what you should not do for preparation of cism exam all right so these are the few topics of you agenda for this video which i am going to cover in this video right uh, by the way if you have any doubt your or any questions you can contact me my on my whatsapp the number is already given you can see in the screen and you can send a mail to help at vision and gold.com that's the website of my uh, that's a website you can go and there you can find some more videos and notes as well you can check my videos on my twitter my youtube and instagram account as well details are given in this uh, in the background of this video right so uh, let me get started with the very first thing which is the CISM preparation strategy now for preparation of CISM book uh, CISM is uh, uh, CISM uh, now for preparation of CISM you require to have a book what we called as CISM review manual that book is at most important you have to have without this book you cannot even imagine to crack the cism there are people who are saying or maybe they may crack but chances are very less right so if somebody is telling you they hey i have not even touched the cism believe me that's not the case unless until that uh, that that guy is absolutely very genius right so you have to read cism review manual how to read i will tell you so that's the number uh, Uh, uh that's the number one book that you need to read it second book will be the any book you have i'm saying any book i'm not recommending any other book but you have to read one more book just to give you a confidence because believe me the cism review manual is bit lengthy things are repeated and sometimes you feel bored so to uh, to give you some more confidence that actually you have understood the concept the logic the link between 2 3 or 1 or 4 chapter you have to read some other book i am having experience that phil martin is one of the good book which is very simple right i am repeating and i am saying again you have to consider cism review manual as your base book don't consider any other book as your primary one your primary book is cism review manual and and i'm repeating again and again right i do not want any kind of ambiguity in this concept you have to be very clear on this right so first book is cism review manual and second book will be any book you may read phil martin right now if you see in the excel the very first day right you have to read the cism review manual and try to identify your pace if you see row number 5 i have written cism review manual 15 minutes per page so basically what happened friends you have once you are reading this book you have to keep an eye on the clock and try to find it out 
how long it will take to read one page right is doesn't mean you just read page number one and say hey i is take me 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes no you have to read at least 10 to 15 page and then try to understand that what will be your grasping power how much you are actually getting the concept and how did you find this book i believe based on these things you are this is just a rehearsal you are just preparing yourself in actual reading when you are going to do actual reading so based on 5 to 10 pages you will be having a good understanding that at least uh, let's say 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes you are taking to complete the one page right so that's very important in my case i was taking 15 minutes for one page to complete now friends one more thing one very very important point here if i am saying one page to complete that doesn't mean i am just reading no i am reading the page with the understanding that after completing that page if i just close my eyes or if somebody asks me any question on that book or if i want to think hey what i have just read at least i am able to explain 60 to 70 percent of that content what's what's written in that page this means i am able to understand one page there are many ways also you can follow for example you can underline certain uh, uh, certain statement or certain concept that you think that may help you to recall that page so there are certain tricks which i will create a separate video to explain uh, i am basically i will be using certain terms let's say uh, one term is c then q then v and r there are certain terms which i will which i will be using these are some code which i was using when i was preparing for cism but i will share a separate video because that's some that, that's that's going to be a, a different concept itself which i want to share with you but on a separate video now once you have a clear understanding that let's say one page contains 15 minutes of time so in that case you need to calculate the total number of pages you can read in one hour so accordingly one hour complete in one hour you will be completing the four pages then you need to understand you need to logically calculate or think that how many hours you can spend in a day in my case my office hour was let's say 9 to 6 so i won't spare a single hour on cism preparation during my office hour so i used to prepare either early morning or maybe late evening because i need to just focus on two hour right so just spending two hour i will be completing eight pages and this cism review manual is having only 254 pages right so you just need to focus on completion of 254 pages there are cases then uh, when basically when you are reading that uh, uh, cism uh, any 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 page then that you feel uh, that then the then is kind of a feeling that hey this is something which i really do not want to read here this is actually very tiring but believe me friend your target is just to finish that that page somehow you need to finish this page it's okay it's absolutely okay if you are not able to get any concept in one go especially if i'm talking about chapter number three that's actually very lengthy that contains around 72 pages or 74 pages but that's actually very lengthy you feel bored you feel tired you feel exhausted but yes that's okay that's absolutely okay friend because that's the matter of 15 minutes you need to just spend the 15 minutes to complete that page that's your target and that should be you know a genuine target i mean it should not be just formality but if you are not able to complete it that's also okay i will tell you how to you can uh, cover that in our subsequent uh, days right so that's the very first thing what i have mentioned in our row number five okay so let's try to understand this concept so now here if you can see from row number 12 
I have mentioned that CISM review manual. Oh, so sorry. Right. So now you are able to see the Excel sheet what I have just uh, created for you guys. Right. So it, let's say in row number 12, this row, you have to read, let's say, based on your uh, experience, based on your understanding, let's say eight pages in two hours. Right. And on a very first day, you do not require to touch any mock questions, right? Let me write mock questions, right? So you do not read to do, you do not need to do any mock questions. What you need to do and when you need to do, I will tell you. So if you read, let's say if you start your reading, let's say from 1st January 20, I'm just taking 1st January just to uh, sake of easiness. Otherwise, if I take any other date, that may create confusion on exact calculation of days, right? So let's say from 1st January 20, you have, or you, I mean, you are all set for the preparation of this exam and your target is in two hour, you will be covering the eight pages, right? So this is your day number one. So in this way, let me Okay, so let me make it a bit zoom. Just a second. Yeah. So in this way, if you try to uh, uh, complete this book, then this will take just 15 days to complete the book. In real, in in reality, right? In practical. 15 days is very less because there are cases where it's not possible for a person or uh, uh, or someone who actually doing so many things let's say they have their own personal responsibility some assignments from office and all that they itself is not able to give the two hour per day sometimes it's possible in fact in my case most of the time i was not able to do this but for that we have weekdays, we have Saturday and Sundays. So there you spend the complete day for all your backlogs. For example, till 4th of January, you have to complete, let's say 16, uh, sorry, 24 pages. And these figures should come uh, uh, automatically into your mind. You have to be very, very thorough with this concept that till Saturday, how much questions or sorry, how much uh, pages you have, uh, I mean, you are supposed to complete it. For example, here, your total number should be 24, but in actual, you have actually covered 12. So that means on 4th of January, you have to complete 8 plus 24, uh, 8 plus 12 uh, pages because you are less by 12 pages. So that's the calculation you need to do when you are preparing for your uh, uh, a very first milestone, which is if on every Saturday, Sunday. So you have to prepare yourself that in week, uh, week uh, and that in weekends, you have to cover all your backlogs, either in terms of questions or in terms of completing the pages, right? Now, once you complete, let's say, if you start from 1st January, you can see uh, till here, uh, just a second, I think there is some changes I would prefer here. Uh, I think, as per my understanding, I, it should be started once you have reached at least uh, uh, let's say 40 or 50 pages after reading a 50 pages or let's say make it 30 somewhere around 30 pages is recommend to you that you can at least start doing mocks okay every day you need to do a 20 uh, questions right so every day you need to do mock tests 
of yourself right so by the time your book complete you will be able to do at least 220 mock questions the advantage of doing the mock while reading is that you will be having a idea that what kind of questions actually come in the exam or how these concepts are actually linked with the question after reading any statement you can even evaluate you can think that this kind of a concept or this statement may convert into a question right so that's how it's recommend to do the mocks don't worry about the percentage that out of 20 if you are able to uh, uh, achieve 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent that's not the case you just need to go through the uh, 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 the questions their answer why answer a is correct moreover why answer b c and d is not correct so you need to go through all the options thoroughly for that you may require to do uh, let's say uh, for 20 uh, questions you can take 30 minutes so in that case you can put 2.5 hours from here right so i am just repeat i am just increasing the hours also so it will take 2.5 2.5 2.5 and then this will also 2.5 and then 2.5 right so by reading 8 pages per day for 2 hours you will be able to complete the book by 2nd of Feb that is after just 33 days. So here you will be able to achieve you can see in the screen that total 254 pages are achieved in a 30 third day so on 2nd of feb you will be able to complete this book now if you see the number of questions you have completed by the time you you have completed the book very first time is total 580 right so that is something which is absolutely uh, you know commendable you have to appreciate yourself you have to celebrate at least that you have achieved the first milestone right this is a very important milestone now time to relax you have to relax yourself how you do not need to go and watch movie no you have to read some light weighted book that book must contain something which is very straightforward that won't contain that much of complexity so i recommend or uh, this, this is what I did is I went through complete book of Phil Martin. This book contains 312 pages, around 300 pages you can say that you have to actually read. But I will tell you one thing. In CISM review manual, the total pages is 254. But in Phil Martin, the total pages is 312 that actually you need to read. But the important point is the way is written in Phil Martin is far easy. So there in CISM review manual, if it takes 15 minutes for one page, in Phil Martin it will take just 5 minutes to complete one page and that to a very, uh, you know, uh, if you are going to read this very easily or very slow. Sometimes it takes 2 to 3 minutes maximum. In my case, I was taking 3 to 4 minutes. But on an average, you can say it will take 5 minutes for anyone to complete one page. Right? So, accordingly, if you spent 2.5 hours, then it will take 24 pages. So, easily you will be achieving... Uh, this book also uh, completed by 16th of Feb that is on your 47th day. So 
first reading you have completed of CSM review manual on your 33rd day. Second book you have actually completed in just 47 days. So not even a two month you have completed two books and you have completed almost 640 questions that gives you a big confidence that yes you have actually did something in in last uh, let's say 46 or 47 days not even a 50 days less than a 50 days you have completed major part right so again it's time for you to a uh, uh, bit relax that you are on right track after that again you have to read the CISM review manual revision now in revision you just need to read those line which were you have drawn at the time of your first reading or any point where you have mentioned certain a statement that this is important or this is something which you have not understood or whatever so and again you need to calculate the time like how much time it will take for you to complete the one page and accordingly if you calculate in my case I was completing around 10 pages per hour so if you do in that one so you need to spend the one hour for completing the 10 page but from here instead of doing 20 questions you need to increase the mock question to 50 so here if you can see you need to spend one hour for revision and 1.5 hour for doing 50 questions right so that's the strategy you need to uh, change here you need to increase your pace you need to put some more uh, pressure on you so that this will start giving you a concept of uh, when you are actually uh, you know tired when you are actually in stress so this will start giving you that much of flavor of exam so start doing 50 more questions when you are actually giving the revision so on that pace if you go that probably by 14th of March your CISM review manual revision got completed right and here if you see how many questions you have completed so far just a second 2160 questions you have already completed now it's time to just give a piece for your mind that whatever required for CISM review manual you have completed right now here you need to start practicing your mind your body that you need to sit for at least five to six hour because if you are comfortable in five to six hour then in exam once it required to sit for four hours that will be very comfortable journey for you so you need to start practicing not for four hours at least for five or six hours and also when you are giving the exam you require I mean the exam means here mock test I'm saying right so an exam is asking for uh, in real exam uh, 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 there are 150 questions but when you are actually preparing you should prepare for 200 questions in 4 hour right in, in actual exam it will ask to solve 150 questions in 4 hours but you prepare yourself for 200 questions in 4 hour and that too uh, uh, that, that will also give you a confidence that your pace will increases right now till then you have already covered three two six zero more questions if you don't have that much of questions let me know I have certain questions maybe I will share with you guys I have already uploaded on my vision and website you can find there 
I have already uploaded certain videos where I have explained the questions and answers every options. You can just search my uh, uh, my name on YouTube Shailendra Shivastu and there you can find the mock test exercise what I have explained for CISM right and you have completed almost 225 hours and you have actually completed 1373 pages so that is the total effort what you have made and that too in only 80 days right people used to say that it required three months to complete the preparation but in C but see it required just 80 days for you to complete the preparation in fact you have completed that book two times and one more book as a supporting doc, uh, uh, book and that too in 74 days. Now after this, right, based on this calculation, you can select a day based on your, uh, you know, availability, based on your comfort. So let's say in, in my case, if I selected 22nd of March 20 as an exam date, now here, if you can see on 21st March, that is uh, exam day minus one day, you have not to read anything. It should be a no study day. It must be dead stop for your study. See, this is again my practice of doing. If you are not very much confident, you may read it. But I highly recommend not to read anything when uh, before your exam exact one day. I will tell you why. See, by the time you have completed this course, you have completed these many questions, your mind will definitely got exhausted. You have already read, you know, you have already tired of reading these questions. If there is a very simple sentence written, even then it, I mean, it takes some time for uh, uh, your mind to analyze that you can easily figure it out. So it's always better to give a rest to your mind. Rest means you are not required to go and watch some series on your uh, mobile or on your TV. You have to give a rest you do not require to give some stress to your mind right you just spend your time with your family you can make some food for your family you you can just go and walk to uh, 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 near your building or somewhere but you are not allowed to read anything even if you don't know let's say what's the meaning of rto you know that's what we are doing at the time of a bia but even then that's fine. If you don't know, that's fine. You have to trust on you that whatever you have completed in these 80 days, that is sufficient and everything comes in that only. So you have to just relax and uh, just make sure that there will be no study on your last day. Right? So on the, on the exam day, let's say in, in, in this case, uh, 22nd March, if the exam day, then that day, after having a good, uh, you know, a good sleep with no study, once you read that question, it will be a very fresh mind which is actually reading. So, that way your mind start working. Your mind will tell you all the possible combination scenarios, links, what you have just completed either from chapter number 1, 2, 3 or 4 or if there is an interconnection between those. What are the possible combinations? What are the possible thoughts? Everything will come uh, when you are reading the question after let's say 24 hours of no read. So that is very important. Right? So these are the few things which uh, I did and I believe uh, that a person should also do who actually uh, you know, uh, uh, want to do in 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 a, a systematic way, in, in with, with some strategy, right? So uh, this will see. Uh, I mean, you you must read in this book 
or you definitely going to read in this book there is a statement that written if you cannot measure you cannot monitor so you have to have certain quantitative parameters through which you can measure your pace you can measure your uh, the way of doing preparation and all then you can monitor and you can figure it out if this my if this uh, uh, way of doing is working or no so friend i am sure there must be some another ways also that definitely going to work for you but this is uh, uh, the way what i have experience that's why i am sharing this uh, 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 experience the strategy what i did at the time of csm preparation hope you like the video if you have any questions any queries you can uh, uh, post that uh, in my uh, youtube comment section you can also join me on instagram my id is join underscore shalendra twitter account is join underscore shalendra and on my whatsapp uh, that is also uh, 9619094404 and the prefix of india is plus 91 so using that you can whatsapp me uh, please avoid to call me because sometimes uh, i won't able to pick up my phone and my email id is uh, help at visionandgold.com that's my website also you can uh, uh, go to my my website and there you can find some more videos on cism as well as notes also right so that's all for today's video uh, let me know if you find any difficulty and be in touch and uh, all the best wishes for your cism exam preparation i'm sure you will definitely going to crack it all the best bye bye stay healthy stay at home and take care of yourself